My name is Theodore H. Conger, Jr. My date of birth is 5-14-33. My age? Yeah. I'm 81 years old. And what was the other? Where were you born? In uh, Christina, Wisconsin. Do you remember anything from when you were, um, when you were small growing up? Oh, yeah. I went to St. Joseph's School in Kashina, and uh, we were taught by the Sisters of St. Francis, was it? I believe. Yeah. And uh, the priest there, and I went through the kindergarten up to the eighth grade in at uh, St. Joseph. Yeah. And then my uh, I went to high school in Shawano High School in Shawano, Wisconsin. And they tore the school down by now. Yeah. So uh, many years ago. You outlived the school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so can you tell me, you know, what was it like growing up on the reservation in Kashina. What do you remember most about that? Well, we were poor. I couldn't... Uh, my grandpa, he used to help my grandpa uh, at the hospital with his coal and stuff. And my grandpa, Vishkovi, had a heart attack. Heart attack. And so I did all that myself and let's see so you were shoveling coal is that what you were doing well he shoveled it into a, a furnace into a oh like a, let's see it was a coal that you put that to put in yeah then you had to take the the ashes and stuff out and take wheel him out of there and dump him down the hill and so, you worked so I did hard. that a lot for my grandpa because mm -hmm. uh, he couldn't get around had a heart attack at our house in Kajina yeah. when we were eating breakfast one morning oh, wow. my mother knew right away that it was a heart attack yeah. so and my Uncle Johnny used to always try to teach me Menominee, but uh, the nuns wouldn't let us learn Menominee in them days. Yeah, why is that? I don't know. They, they, they wanted us to be white mm -hmm. culture. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't uh, do nothing in Menominee language or nothing. But now it's different up there. Yeah. They got the College of Menominee, and you can go over there and learn the Menominee language. Right. Up in Kashina. Little kids are learning too now. Yeah. Do you, um, you know, do you feel that that affected a lot of, you know, hanging on to family tradition and your ancestry by not being able to? I do would those have things? liked to be able to speak Menominee. But I never did get that chance. So no, I'm 81. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I, I guess I have trouble with English. <laughs> <laughs> I do too sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, when people ask you. Uh, how do you describe your nationality to them? What do you tell people about? Oh, I tell them I'm Indian. That's the first thing I do. And, uh, like, at the Bowley Lanes and stuff, first thing I always did was say I was an Indian. And I won some bowling tournaments around here when I moved here. That was one of my goals, 
To win some bowling tournaments? I, I used to beat all the guys up in the cities. The big bowlers. Yeah. They, they didn't know who I was. <laughs> and here they didn't either. Then I, I guess I, uh, I, I had a high average for two or two decades, and this, then I had eight hundreds and three hundreds, two hundreds, had five two hundreds before I got a three hundred. When did you start playing uh, the piano? What what had you start playing the piano? That was we were lived on a reservation and and we moved into a, a oh I used to go up to a, the farm where Ruby's husband Francis and uh, I used to they had a piano there well. We, I used to love to go and ride the horses, melt the cows, get the eggs from the chickens, and uh, and we used to always have a break in the afternoon. So we went we went in the living room, and Francis was playing a chord on the piano, and I told him, "Show me how to do that," and he did. And I picked it up from there, and uh, uh, I learned a, 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 a boogie woogie. And my football coach heard me play, and he, uh, whenever I played foot, uh, football, he always said, boogie woogie, he said. Did it Cut down the boogie. So that's the name everybody knows me by in Kashida now, because that stuck with me from when I was in grade school. So. Yep. Well, that's all I've known, ever known you as, Uncle Boogie. One yeah. time my mom was talking about her brother Ted, and I said, who's your brother Ted? She goes, you're Uncle Boogie. I was like, I never knew he had any other name. I just knew you as Boogie. <laughs> So she also that's, she always used to call you Timmy too, wasn't it? Isn't wasn't yeah. that Lily that called you Timmy? Pardon? Was My it? mom did she used to call you Timmy? Oh well, yeah, when I first grew up, I was Timmy. Yeah. And uh, I used to always want to have my hair comb like my dad. Everything he did, I, I didn't. Do. Ruby always said, "You look like, you look like my dad, you know, our dad." So. Yeah. So. I can see it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no. Never. I put on her right away, the Native American. So, and uh, actually, I'm proud of that. I've been years and years. I've been. That's why I was wishing I could have been taught Menominee in school, but. Do you have any regrets about that? Like, do you feel angry, or do you have any? Uh, few regrets, I guess. But I guess the nuns were told to do that. And even writing, I'm left-handed. They want me to write right-handed mm -hmm. in grade school. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of stuff huh? that. Uh, that we did there. We used to clean our own school when uh, summer came, summer break.
Mm -hmm. You saw us get up. At the end of the, the school, we all used to get a, a piece of bread with caro syrup on it. Fresh bread from the... They, they made the bread right there and everything, and our meals were made there. And we used, we used to hate it because when we had chili, the nuns came and put potatoes in the chili with us. But it tasted all right. <laughs> so can you tell me, um, what what does what is family to you? When you think of family, what is family? Important. Very important. Um, my whole family. I respect them and they're all important to me. So everybody. <laughs>